Welcome to On Life Health's Quick Tips. Today's topic is five tips for better sleep. Sleep is essential for good health, and when your sleep suffers, your body and mind pay the price. Sleep scientists have discovered many lifestyle changes that can improve your sleep. Here are five suggestions that you might want to try. Tip number one, stick to a sleep schedule. Our bodies have a natural sleep-wake cycle. That's why it's best to go to bed at the same time every night to avoid throwing these cycles out of sync. And yes, that does include weekends. Find a regular bedtime and wake-up time that allows you to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. If you have trouble falling asleep, lying in bed and stewing about it just makes things worse. So if you're not asleep within 30 minutes, calmly get up and do something quiet, like reading or listening to soft music. But avoid bright lights, TVs, and computer screens. Then once you feel sleepy, go try again. You might have to repeat this, but in the end, you should eventually fall asleep. Tip number two, watch what you put in your body. Don't go to bed hungry or stuffed. This can cause you to feel uncomfortable and disturb your sleep. Don't drink a lot of fluid before bed. It just leads to more frequent awakenings to visit the bathroom. Caffeine is a stimulant. If you have trouble sleeping, try eliminating anything with caffeine at least three hours before bed. This includes coffee, tea, many soft drinks, and sadly, even chocolate. If you use tobacco, quit. The nicotine in tobacco, just like caffeine, is a stimulant. Not only can it keep you from sleeping well, it can also cause you to wake up too early with cravings for more nicotine. And finally, what about that nightcap? Because alcohol is a sedative, it slows down your nervous system. While this can make you feel sleepy, at least for a while, it disrupts your sleep cycles. To make things worse, after a few hours, your body gets rid of the alcohol and your nervous system speeds up again, causing you to awaken briefly and repeatedly. In the end, you wind up sleep deprived, even though you might have been in bed all night. Create a bedtime ritual. As bedtime approaches, begin making an effort to slow down. Put away your computer, your work materials, etc. Do something relaxing like reading, meditating, listening to relaxing music, or even taking a warm bath. Also, begin turning off unnecessary lights during the hour before bed. A certain type of light, called blue light, has been shown to affect certain brain chemicals, making it much harder to fall asleep. Most of the blue light you encounter comes from electronic devices with screens such as televisions, smartphones, tablets, computers, etc. Avoid using blue light devices for at least one hour before bed. If you must use them, dim the backlight as much as possible. Be aware that newer, energy-efficient light bulbs also emit a great deal of blue light. Begin turning these lights off an hour or two before bedtime. Tip number four, limit daytime napping. For some people, a short nap can improve brain function, boost energy, increase productivity, and improve mood. For others, napping during the day leads to problems falling asleep at night. If you do decide to nap, follow these suggestions. Keep it early. Don't nap after 3 p.m. Keep it short. Limit your nap time to 10 to 30 minutes. Naps longer than 30 minutes can leave you feeling groggy and impair your ability to sleep at night. If you regularly struggle with insomnia, it's best to avoid napping completely. And finally, get moving. Physical activity is, of course, good for you, and exercise during the day can actually improve your sleep at night. However, it is best not to exercise within two to three hours of bedtime, as this can have the opposite effect. So to improve your sleep, aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, such as brisk walking, during the day, every day, but not too close to bedtime. As I mentioned earlier, there are dozens of methods for improving your sleep. These were just a few. If you have frequent sleep problems, however, discuss it with your doctor. Sleep science has come a long way, and your healthcare provider has numerous options to help get you and your sleep back on track. Thanks for joining us today. On behalf of On Life Health, this is Michael Detner. Be healthy.